there! PlayStation's first party games have a habit of adding amazing little details that nobody notices. So today I thought we'd check them out together. Like this in Astro's Playroom. Pay attention to the raindrops as they hit the ground. The splash is the same pattern as the controller buttons. Triangle, circle, square and X. By the way, we're supposed to call this cross but I'm sticking with X. Over to Spider-Man and the social media page. This is great as civilians can report on their version of Twitter when Spider-Man saves the day. No crime too small, Spider-Man just stopped a mugging. The problem is this is a double-edged sword as if Spider-Man does something wrong, like yeeting rubbish around, that will also pop up online. Spider-Man just popped in and threw trash around. J. Jonah Jameson was right. He's a menace! He's a menace! Menace! Some details are so inconsequential they are missed, like this one in Ghost of Tsushima. When walking around being one with nature, keep an eye on Jin's right hand. He'll open his fist and run his hand through the long grass. It has no use, no function, it's just an excellent attention to detail from one dev who probably is a Gladiator fan. While playing as Jin, take the time to visit some of the unfortunate victims of the Mongol occupation. Jin will say a few words to honour them. Rest, brother. May the slain find peace. Your deaths will never be forgotten. Another amazing detail here is that Jin will not sheave his sword until it is clean, so he has multiple ways to get the red gooey stuff off. From banging on the hilt to wiping it on his arm. Blech. Some moments reveal the most unexpected details, like taking a bath in a hot spring in Death Stranding. It's possible for BB, your baby in a bottle, to start playing in the water. They'll hit a few rolls and just have a good time, and stay in the water long enough and Sam will serenade the little sprog too. At the other end of the amazing detail spectrum are Sam's feet. It's possible for footwear in Death Stranding to completely degrade to the point where Sam will walk barefoot which leads to a very painful detail. Walk shoeless for too long and Sam will be forced to do this. Nice one, nailed it. Occasionally, details are hidden off camera, especially in Spider-Man games. Did you know that during side missions for Taskmaster, he'll be watching you constantly, usually from afar, learning Spider-Man's moves. By using photo mode, we can stalk the stalker, but get too close and he'll vanish. In Miles' journey, at the start of the game, we must complete a quick time event to save this little baby. Well, for science, I failed that event to see what happened. And luckily, Peter saves the day instead. Phew! By jumping into photo mode, it's possible to look back and you'll see Peter giving the thumbs up Han Solo style. Over in Horizon Forbidden West, stand around long enough for the weather to change and Aloy has unique animations for each weather pattern. My favourite has to be when the rain starts to fall. Aloy seems to enjoy it too. Well, that joy doesn't stick around as the rain becomes heavier and the wind begins to press. Aloy is no longer having the best day ever. She also dislikes being out of breath in the hot desert, can't blame her, and just look at her face in the snow, she absolutely loves it. Aloy's climbing animation also holds a hidden detail. We usually scamper up those walls as quickly as possible, but take your time, in fact stay still, and this will happen. Aloy will periodically shake her arms to remove the lactic acid. Useless, but brilliant. When Aloy has time to relax, usually on the back of a big giant robotic bird thing, it's possible for this to happen. Other birds will join your flight, catching a toe to their destination. Truly brilliant. Even the most child-friendly PlayStation games have amazing details. This is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. During a typical playthrough, you'll visit this intergalactic bar, but weapons cannot be taken inside. When going through this door, all your weapons will instantly be transferred into storage. And look how instantaneous it is. As I run in and out, check out the storage in the background. The weapons are instantly transferred and instantly taken back out again. Brilliant! Also here, you'll find a Mort, a mild-mannered, fun-loving, hardware working little dude who loves the bucking bronco here. Look at his face, he's having the time of his life. Yet things won't always be like this. Visit again near the end of the game and look, he's been usurped and is so upset it's causing me physical pain to watch. Life comes at you hard bro. 
Speaking of sadder moments, did you notice this detail in Miles Morales? Just by the Wakandan embassy, a street sign has been changed. It now reads Bozeman Way. This was to honour the Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman who passed away during the making of Spider-Man Miles Morales. Very sad, but also a very cool gesture. Spider-Man 2 added to this easter egg by giving Miles his own Wakandan style suit and by visiting the embassy once again, Miles can strike the Wakandan salute. Pretty awesome. But for some reason, Pete can't do this. Hmm, I wonder why. A mind-blowing detail in God of War Ragnarok are these cups. Used while the gang eats. They may seem like nothing, but in fact, they are the exact artifacts we collected through the 2018 game. I don't think a side quest has ever mattered more in video game history. Sticking with God of War, without a doubt my favourite detail in Ragnarok occurs very early on when Kratos and Thor face off. At one point Kratos punches the other bearded man so hard his tooth falls out, and miraculously it remains on the ice for the entirety of the game. Come back six months later, it's still here. Brilliant. Boy. An unexpected detail can be found in Gran Turismo 7. We've seen rocket launches, we've seen alien abductions, and now we're about to see the Loch Ness Monster. Over on the Trial Mountain stage, stop far enough away from the lake to not spook her, and eventually she'll come up for air. Good thing we have photo mode to get this moment, and we now know why she can't be found in Scotland anymore. Now to The Last of Us Part 1. At one point in the game, Ellie gives her friend a robot he wanted from a disused toy store, but he wasn't allowed to pick it up. That sounds like nothing, right? Well, during the scene she grabs it, she does it secretly, waiting until nobody is looking in her direction, and then pouncing, putting it in her bag, and instantly standing up before anyone noticed what happened. If we turn quick enough, we can catch Ellie in the act, but she doesn't let on what happened. It's a completely useless detail, but you have to respect the dev who took the time to add it. And one last one for the road, number 21 on the list. Literally one I just found an hour before uploading this video. A random NPC encounter in Spider-Man 2, involving a mobile phone, a storm drain, and, well, see for yourself. No, 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 oh, not again. Oh, I it was weak. You're in luck, because getting phones out of sewer grades has had the job description. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Thank you, Spider-Man. No problem. Speaking from experience, it won't be the last time that happens either. How awesome is that? All because I keep running into people with Spider-Man. No, 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 no! Oh. There you have it, 21 amazing little details in PlayStation games. I'm Adam, you're awesome, thanks for watching. You should totally click on another video right now. See ya!